Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines. An happy Sunday to each and everyone watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, the police have been very relentless in getting guns off the streets and finding wanted men. Now in St. James, the police have been very successful in getting guns in two different locations in St. James and also holding on to a man who is going to face 15 years behind bars for illegal gun and ammunition. Now in St. James this morning, the police recovered a Glock pistol and also a man was basically arrested and charged by the police and is about to face 15 years behind bars. And also in St. James, once again, the police found out a next firearm, but no one was arrested and charged by the police. Now the police have been going around doing special operations in different parishes, finding the guns and also going after criminal gangs, other crime organizations and also wanted men. But to my viewers and my subscribers, these words are important. The reason why guns are found in our streets in Jamaica is because of corruption. Corruption is why there are so many guns flowing into the country. Corruption is why there are so many guns more than bread in Jamaica. There are so many guns more than food in Jamaica. Guns are so easy to access, obviously, right? Make one or two phone call, you get a gun. You can go anywhere in Jamaica on a personal or special street and buy a gun. That is how common guns are in Jamaica. And it's all because of corruption. Now, you can go around and get all the guns that you need, but those guns can be replaced because of links between upper head and lower head, between the ports and the criminals, between employees working in the ports and criminals. So to my viewers and my subscribers, no matter how many times you get the guns on the streets, they can be replaced because of corruption. Get rid of corruption, you get rid of crime. We basically live in a country where everybody access to guns. And if you don't access to a personal gun, you can actually make one or two phone call and link up with a criminal. Who you basically you can peer or can do your favor to kill somebody. So to my viewers and my subscribers, there's still many work to be done in Jamaica by the JCF and the JDF and also the government. We are now ready. The government is the head of corruption. They always have been head of corruption. And if the stream, head of the stream, dirty, the bottom are got dirty as well. So, to my viewers and my subscribers, I said it before, if corruption isn't current in its country, the guns will continue to flow from different countries into Jamaica. And you have to stop the crime and the smuggling of basically guns and ammo or other forms of deadly weapon. You have to get rid of corruption. Corruption within the, the work labor, within the ports, the employees who are corrupt. They're the ones who help to actually make the smuggling of guns very successful. And if you can't get rid of them and have basically law-abiding employees, ones who won't do these things, then the country and the police force will forever play cat and mouse with criminals and guns. To fix crime in Jamaica is quite easy. It's not really hard. But the government know this now. But in order for crime to be fixed in the country, they have to remove themselves because they themselves are basically corrupt. Remember these politicians have MPs of basically volatile eras and they know the criminals and they tolerate the criminals because the criminals give them votes. They still do in many eras, communities in Jamaica. So to my viewers and my subscribers, uh, to clean up Jamaica crime rate, heads have to roll. People have to be removed. I'm talking about persons from the head come straight down. Now we head towards Seaford, St. Thomas, Jamaica. We're on the ski right now is Andrew Thomas, an ex-police soldier. Well, based on the information, he's still active in the force. That's why I say based on alleged information, he's still active in the force. Now, Mr. Thomas, who is assigned to the St. Andrew North Police Division, was shot and killed in Seaford, St. Thomas, 
at his gate around 8 30 pm last night now based on information my viewers and my subscribers mr thomas was basically leaving while approaching the gate to go where he was basically going he was pounced upon by an assailant he was shot more than once in the body but in the hospital where he was pronounced dead on the spot the police are investigating now to my viewers and subscribers so before this man is alleged to be an ex-police officer but based on information he is still active in the force now nevertheless there's another policeman shot and killed by an assailant now so far there's no bad information as to why he was shot and killed by gunmen could be because he's basically a police officer or an ex-police officer now you know in jamaica when a police whether an ex or current get killed in jamaica by a criminal element or gunmen you know the police go aggressive after those criminals so i'm certain that in due process the police will basically list the persons who do this killing and go after them very aggressively now we head towards farm pen westmoreland to be exact where last night a man known as michael davis was shot and killed by a police who was off duty so basically last night a cop after the police officer were basically in a bar with patients we observe Mikkel Davis who is on the screen right now walk into the bar now Mikkel came into the bar with a grey jacket hoodie and in that hoodie one of the pocket the front pocket to be exact was a gun now the police officer observed that and you know what in going a caution mood go in a proactive mood now Mikkel saw the officer observing him keenly and Mikkel went outside and walked off now the police officer went after Mikkel and during that process he saw when Mikkel was basically running so Mikkel Davis on the screen right now went from walking to running now in that process he fell to the ground so in that process when Mikkel Davis fell to the ground he pulled his firearm from the front pocket of his hoodie and fired a shot hitting the officer in his upper left arm now, the police officer who was injured in his upper left arm pulled his firearm and fired four shot hitting davis in his chest his arm his abdomen and also his left leg now they both rushed to the hospital where the police officer is treated but miguel did not survive those injuries now based on all indication miguel davis went to basically do a robbery at the bar and hold up people but because one man who is a police officer who is off duty start observing keenly so Miguel get freed and back out of the mission and the police trail him and the police was successful getting the gun and killing a criminal now to the police officer sorry to your injure but job well done this is Jay Chris News once again until then bless up yeah man, I'm here as a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy